Good day, my friends. Today, I would like to introduce how to use the NC Studio controller for the ATC machines. Now, I will, I will introduce the controller first. Look here. Here is X. It means the mechanical coordinate. This is the X coordinate. Y, uh, mechanical coordinate. Z, uh, mechanical coordinate. And this size is the working coordinate. This is the feed rate. Feed rate, it means during the machine working, you can make the speed fast or smaller. Fast or smaller. Mm -hmm. This is setting. Setting, it means when you press here, X and Y, Z, the speed, how fast it is. You can also set it yourself, for example, here. Now we set 5,000, you can set the 8,000, 2,000, anything you like. But uh, my suggestion is not to change if we set it well. And uh, this is a rapid for federate. This is uh, before back to the reference point. Spindle speed. That means the spindle running speed. Spindle on or off. This off, you can press on, off. Here, now we introduce here for you. First, from here, auto. Auto here, this is the a program you, you will put in the controller. And this is the menu. Menu, it means you press X, then the X moving. Z. Okay, this is one. HW, it means hand wheel. When you press this, this, then the machine will move by the hand wheel. Look here. This is a hand wheel. Hand, hand wheel. You press here, then you move. Then the machine will move uh, by this, controlled by this. If you press jog, then the machine will remove when you press, for example, you press X, you press Y, then the X and Y move, for example, now I press X. Look. Okay, now Z, Z. Right, that, that, that's the job. And uh, for here, for this, that means for example, if you choose this, that means when you press this, it means the Y will move one millimeter. If you press X, also move one millimeter. Also, if you press this, if you press X, that means X will move to five millimeter. Customer lens. It means when you input some data here, the machine will move like uh, uh, 15 millimeter. If we, we input, for example, 20 millimeter. Okay. Now, if we press Y, it, then the Y will move 20 millimeter. For example, I press. Okay, 20 millimeter moving. Here is clear, clear X clear, Y clear, Z clear, X Y clear. What does this used for? It used for when we do the finish the tool calibration and uh, move the tool to the tops of the material, then create this for the zero. Okay, this is dust cover. This is dust cover for dust cover up and down. For example, up and down, up, down. Okay, this is the tool magazine. This is a tool magazine, clock running. This is a tool magazine and clock running. Okay, I will introduce one by one for you. Now I would like to introduce the buttons for you. Okay, this button is for the computer. Here is for the machine power on, machine power off, vacuum pump, vacuum pump. And uh, this is for the cylinder. Machine power, of course, uh, it makes the machine start, then make the machine stop. Vacuum pump. When you use a vacuum pump, just open it, then the vacuum pump will work. 
If you close, then it will stop work. This is cylinder. For example, here. Look, here. Now. Okay. This is a MJC stop. When you press it, then the machine, no matter where it is, it will stop quickly. This is the USB. When you have a program, you just press here. No need to put it into computer. It's very easy. When you use the machine, and uh, the first step, you need to make the machine back home. And of course, you need to check your machine. Is there anything around your machine or anything on the table? Just clean them. Here, operation. Back to mechanical arranging. Then press it. All axis. Okay. You can see here. They are moving. Right? And I see the machine. Because uh, when it is moving home, it is very, very slow. It is for the safety. It is only for the safety. You can see X, Y, Z. Then we usually make the Z back home first. Then Y and X together. The home position is on the left top. On the left top of the machine body. On the left top. So now they are all back home. They are back home. Okay. Now they are mechanical. They are X zero, Y zero, Z zero. When you see the machine top uh, front like this, it means all back home. Now the machine are all back home to the left top, back home already. The second step is to measure the two lengths, do the two calibration. And you remember here, the current two, it means the, the two number, what it, which number is on the spindle now. On the spindle now. Now it's six. It means the number six. Okay. This is a disc two. Means they are the same. Look here. Modify to number. The first one. Measure, measuring, measuring. It means the measuring uh, which two is on the spindle. Now if we press it, it means we will measure the number six. Second. Uh, measure multi, if we press it, then you will find that here. So many tools, that means you check which one you want to measure. Okay, now uh, in our machine, for example, now in our machine. Now, uh, just now I introduced, on the spindle, there is the number 6, right? Remember, here, also number 6. And uh, this program, I have introduced you, we use three tools. Also the number 8 and also the, there is one tool for number 2. We use these three tools to measuring for you, for example. So now we have number 2, then we choose number 2, number 6 and also number 8, right? Then we start uh, measure. We, we start measure. Look, this window will come here. Yeah.
finish the two calibration and then we will set the working start point. For example here, we will use this board as an example. This board, for example, we will want to cut on this. Then we need to set the working start point. For example, here is our working start point. Now we need to move the machine. Come here. Look, okay, we press X, then the machine moving. If you think it moves fast, you can press X and also control. Then the machine will move very fast. Then, for example, we move here. Lay down. Okay, now if we set also use the computer, that's okay, but it's very dangerous. It's very dangerous. So in order to make safety, we the better to use the hand wheel to set it. Okay? We choose here hand wheel. Okay? When you use hand wheel, remember you need to press the yellow button. Okay? Then for example now it is X. We move the X moving. Okay. Then we choose Z. Also, same way, press the yellow button. Look. Okay, now it's on the top, on the top of the material, right? Then this is the working start part, for example. Now we need to Z-clear. Z-clear, look. Are you sure? Yes, we sure. Then, look, here, Z is... Now also, X, Y, clear. Pretty press. Then look here, X1. Yes. Look, here. Everything is zero. It means now all the tools will remember this working start point and this coordinate. Because we finished the two calibration already. Now we finished the two calibration. So we need to copy the program inside the, to the computer. You use one USB, okay? Then put it to the here, USB. Okay, put it to USB. Now choose here, auto, program. We have two ways to load the program. First is use the right button. Right button, okay? Then you can see here, open and load. Then choose the program you want to load. For example, if you want to load this, just choose this and open. Then it will be inside. You also can use here, file, file, open and load, and choose where it is. It's the same way, and the same thing. When you finish the load the program, for example, this program, we have finished, and you want to save, what uh, uh, what we made the program is correct or not? Then look here. Operation. Okay. Here has one button. Enter simulation mode and then start simulating. We choose it. Then you can see the machine will simulating your program first. Then ah, oh, your program will be make a, a cabinet like this. So now the program may finish the simulating. Then we want to use the program. Really want to work this program. Okay? Then operating. Operation. We need to clear it first. Okay? Then there is no choice. And in order to make safety, we need to use a hand wheel gear first. Choose it here. Okay, then you can check. It choose hand wheel here. Then when you press the start here, you press the start, 
this is the machine for example we press start okay now it we we will use the hand wheel for safety we move it okay press the yellow button you can see the machine will run you can see the machine moving right Huh. Okay, now it will be moving. Usually speaking, when you move it uh, one or uh, thirty minutes, uh, one minute or two minutes, if you find your program works nice, then it means your program and your setting is well. So no need to use your hand wheel anymore. Then clear it. Then clear it. Then the machine will moving. You can see, will moving itself. The machine will moving itself. There is one thing during your work, the machine the cut broken or something happened. Then the machine stopped in the middle. And also you want to start from somewhere. How to do? From here. Operation. There has one advanced start. Okay, you can see specify line number. You can choose which line number. For example, here we want to choose 33. Okay, you just uh, introduce 33. Then press OK. If you press OK, then the machine will start from here. If you input 66, then if we press OK, then the machine will start from the uh, number 66 lines.